guys, we are here to start a new uh, business, and we want to bring you along with us on the uh, adventure. I'm Darren Gilmore. I'm Kristen Gilmore. And we are going to be undoing pallets and uh, seeing what we got. We're going to try to sell them. Why are we doing it? Why, why would we want something else to do, right? So by trade, I'm a farmer. Kristen helps me on the farm. And uh, as I'm getting older, as you can tell, I'm bald and getting older. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, taking a toll on my body, and I got to have some surgeries and stuff. So I'm looking at some different things to diversify our income. And uh, so I'd like to pay off the farm this coming year. Don't know if it'll happen, but we're going to try. So uh, come along with us on our journey, and uh, we'll see what we got. You want to say anything? Nope, so this palette we've had for almost a week. We haven't looked at anything. Um, we've just been getting some stuff down on the farm before we could actually get to look at it. We paid four eighty nine for this palette um, with the shipping, so the cost back and forth with gas. That's about $500 that we need to make back on this palette. So we're going to crack this stuff open. Maybe a little bit later, you guys will have a video of us looking at the products and trying to find them online and posting them. And then eventually we'll give you an update on if we made it or not. All right. So what one you want to take? Uh, well, I guess we'll start with this big one right here. <laughs> All right. And we do have a couple boxes that are off to the side that are just too big for us to move. So we'll have to adjust the, cam the camera to open those later. All right. You want to open it? Yeah. So it looks like this is a coffee table. And so if that's truly what's in it. We will have to build the product to make sure that all the pieces are there before we go to sell it. So, so the reason we want to uh, build them before we sell them is one to make sure there's no damaged parts. Uh, you know, kind of box is kind of beat up a little bit, so we want to make sure nothing is damaged. Uh, make sure all the parts are there. And this will be something we probably sell on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, we set up eBay uh, and Marketplace so that we can So it looks like most of the parts are here. It looks like it's new. It looks like new in package. So we will set this off to the side and we will Build it. We'll scan the uh, the code here in a little bit and find out uh, what it is. And we'll we'll have like a uh, kind of like a counter. Uh, we'll keep track of it and show you guys what we make. Put a little insert on it. Yeah. So there you go. Made a mess. Furniture can run anywhere from fifty bucks to one hundred fifty, three hundred, depending on the brand. So. So we'll check that out. And we try to sell, we're gonna to try to sell somewhere between uh, 60 to 40% of the, uh, 45 of the uh, price range from new. So uh, we'll be giving people a discount um, from what they'll be getting it uh, on from the actual suppliers, uh, whether that's Amazon or Target or wherever. So. Oh, we got, oh, we got a big old grill. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. Oh, all right. Yeah, this wasn't an easy thing to get in here. Yeah. Oop. Struggling a little bit. Eventually, we'll get this set up nicer. But for now, this is how we're going to start. So this one here is definitely new in the box because it's still got the straps on it. I don't know if you can see the straps in the picture, but... It's still got the straps, we just broke one of them. Uh, so this one here is a Easy Grill. I think that's what it's called. Uh, the Pelletizer Grill. And uh, we'll take a look at this and uh, see what we can't find on a, a price on this. Um, yeah, we won't open this one up yet. A box looks good. No dents or anything. Got a little bit of a rip here, but that's right there where the foam is. Foam's not damaged. Oh, I think that was a handle. Yeah. So we probably ripped it when we were bringing it in. 
Um, so we'll take a look at this. We'll get a price on it and uh, let you guys know uh, in the upcoming video. Like she said, some of these will be looking up at the prices and uh, letting you know uh, what they are. I mean, it won't take much. Um, I think I've seen these in the store for somewhere around 400 bucks. Um, kind of looked at these before. Maybe not this brand, but uh, we'll find out for you and then we'll let you know. Slide that over there. Go ahead and grab another one. All right. Here's a knife. So all we're needing to do at the very least is make our money back on it. And with products like that that are brand new, big name products, it makes it a little bit easier on us. So this says it's a retractable blind, I think. Baby oh, gate. no, retractable baby gate. And it also looks new in package. So that's All right. right. Let's take a look at it. Just make sure nothing's broke on it. Baby stuff usually sells really well. Oh, I'm making a mess. But it looks like we've but, got all the parts. Yeah, we got all the parts. There's nothing damaged on it. Looks Instructions good. are still wrapped. So this is just probably something somebody ordered and or got maybe at a baby, baby shower. shower. Maybe got more than one or something. Um, and just sent it back. So we can get this in here. <laughs> Pull that back out and then put the stuff in the bottom. Yeah. Um, baby stuff tends to sell really good from what we've uh, found, uh, heard and looked at. So we'll kind of see how that all pans out. Got it. Get another one. Okay, this one's like super light. I'm not sure there's anything even in here. Filters. <laughs> Filters. He's been studying. <laughs> Um, this package is a return from Amazon. I'm sure you can see on some of the boxes it's got the Amazon logo. But all of these products have come from Amazon. I was getting ready to say you're right. There ain't nothing in there, but there's another box in here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have instructions for something. It's an antique something it says. I guess an antique finish. Like a shower handle? Maybe. To get out of a shower? Little shower bar, maybe? I don't know. Do you know what it is? Kind of what it looks like. I don't it's know. It's got a nice finish on it. Nice detailing. Okay. Well. <laughs> we'll have to look that one up for sure to find out what it's even worth. I have no clue on that one. Um, so, instructions with that box. I don't know why uh, they sent it back in such a big <laughs> box. But that's, that's part of it. Um... We got this wheel, which I'm pretty sure goes with this. So we'll open that next, but um, we at least know it has a wheel. <laughs> so let me move this out of the way. And this box is pretty banged up. Yeah, so. this one's been through the ringer. It's uh, like it all the way down. Um, there's a bit of a tear down here. Um, so we definitely need to open this one up. Um, it says it is a. You can see all the tape they put on it. Universal all the way down. miter saw stand from Rigid. It's a good. It's a good brand. Good brand. Got a lifetime warranty on it. Says. Nice. Wonder if that's transferable. <laughs> so the big question will be if this is destroyed. <laughs> doesn't look too banged up in here so we're doing this in a little office building i got it's like a office shed type deal so you might see our breath every now and then it's a little bit cool in here <laughs> <laughs> um, it was warmer the other day when i tried it out but we got we've got a building it's one of our barns Woo! and uh well it looks like it's pretty yeah good. it looks pretty nice nothing looks bent or I wonder if I can shift the camera a little bit. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it doesn't cause anybody vertigo or anything. There you go. It's a little bit, a little bit better. It's got a lot of pieces in here. 
I'll have to put this together to make sure because got the instruction manual. There's a lot of parts falling out everywhere. But uh, we'll see what we got. I uh, saying though, we got another building uh, that we want to uh, move this into. Uh, I've got to square out some things on the farm uh, to make sure we can do it. Um, hopefully within the next few weeks, we'll, we'll know for sure. And it's a lot nicer, a lot bigger area for us to work out of. Have some nice heat. <laughs> Good heat in there. Uh, right now we got a film by daylight. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, it's a good building. Uh, it will give us a lot of room to expand. grow and expand. We've got some ideas of uh, how we want to expand down the road. Um, we would like to do maybe some like um, bins and stuff. Bin that store. You, people could come and buy stuff, uh, just individual pieces, uh, look through things. Uh, eventually, we'd like to get to a point maybe where we were actually selling full skids uh, to people. And uh, if you're being interested in that, let us know on that as well in the comments. Um, we are here in, in Southern Indiana, uh, down by Shoals, Indiana. Uh, so yeah, let us know. We will be definitely building this one. And yeah. uh, we can show you some of the stuff uh, that we build. And uh, again, we'll be putting prices on it. And oh, here's a random screw. Getting this. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Just but, gonna, I mean, nothing looks bent. Nothing looks broke, but could have some missing parts. Yeah. Might be the reason it came back. We'll have to. If not, this would be a really good, yeah, this good a, step on getting the pallet paid for. Yeah. This Between this and the grill. We might have it done. <laughs> we might have our, might be close to having our money back. All right. And we still got quite a few products left. Um, this is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let me slide it back over here. We I got these chairs because I thought it'd be easier, but I think they're actually making a problem. <laughs> we need to adjust us up or adjust down. <laughs> we might leave it so they can see the boxes. Slide it back. <laughs> got it? Oh, maybe. Yeah, there okay. we go. And this is the first time we've ever done anything on YouTube, so um, we'll get better. <laughs> And if you got advice for us, hey. I promise. <laughs> we'll us, get better. <laughs> give us advice. We we don't mind advice. Okay. This is the other big one on this side. So we'll get it done and then we can kind of move over. All right. Now that she's doing a lot of the lifting, that's cause of me needing to have surgery. So It's not because he just likes to sit and make me do the work. Well, <laughs> um, I so, don't know about that. <laughs> I think this one was a mattress, Sleepwell, Lovewell, Sleepwell. I'm yeah. kind of thinking this was a mattress. All right. Or some kind of bed Is thing. this one of them big purple mattresses things? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Let's um, open it. Let's see. Be careful. Yeah. I don't want to cut the... So we got to make sure when we're doing like these that we're not accidentally slicing any of the product. Because if it was good to begin with and then we've ruined it, that kind of sucks. <laughs> And something really nice about this that I like is it's nice. kind of kind of a sustainable thing. I mean, if we wouldn't take these products and resell them, they'd be going to the landfill. And most of them are like perfectly fine. <laughs> it's kind of a waste. So this is actually our second palette. This is the first one we've opened up on camera. Uh, we wanted to try it before we yeah. committed to being a business. <laughs> yeah. And the first palette we, we did is uh more smaller items um i think they call them mediums this um, one had about four or five giant items yeah so i don't know which is going to be better uh, we kind of we're kind of thinking maybe uh a fewer bigger items you might be able to move them quicker and make more money on them pay but uh as i was thinking about it after we did it i was like i don't know if that was the best uh best thing to do because if they're not great items. Yeah, if you got one or two items that are bad and it takes up half your skid, then you're out the money because uh, you're not going to make it back. Where if you got smaller items, you have, it's going to take more to make the money, but you have more uh, chances. Chances. Yeah, chances of. Uh, and eventually we'll film as we like, you know, 
break the pallets down and get them in the truck and take them home because that's hilarious. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> That first, the first pallet we brought home was like nine foot tall, and we just stuck it in the back of the truck. And I, every time I went around the corner, I was like, "Oh my lands, is this ain't gonna fall over." <laughs> um, so this is all wrapped up, like it's a mattress and topper, or mattress. It says mattress and topper, but maybe it's a mattress topper. Yeah, it's um, pretty heavy. It's all wrapped up. We're not gonna open it because I'm gonna think it's one of those that kind of like poof expands, and then we'll never be able to get it back in the box. Um, but it's got the instructions all wrapped Can up. Tell you what size it is. Um, I thought I did somewhere, but I could be wrong. The twelve, yeah, here, twelve inch king size mattress. Ooh, king size. So it's twelve inch thick. It's a king size. Anybody need one? We got one. <laughs> yep, from Novilla. And right. yeah, so that hasn't been opened. And generally with bedding stuff, you don't want to open it because then how's anybody going to know it's not been used? Right, right. So like if we get a set of sheets or something, we'll probably just leave them as long as they are still sealed. Right. Because we don't want people to think we're trying to sell them a product that's been, been sleeping slept on. on. <laughs> so uh, let me get out of your yeah, All right. you're going to have to get up. <sighs> All these packages says team lift, but I'm a farm girl, so, <laughs> so I'll just struggle. This is another heavy one. Yeah. So I think this is our last, well, no, we've got three over there that we can't move, but this is our last heavy one that we could move. <sighs> Are you in frame? <laughs> ah, a little bit. That's all right. Okay. As long as you get in there. Yeah. I'm the money shot. Yeah. You're the money shot. So this one's been a little... Um, it's beat up too. It's been beat up and it's definitely a return. You can see from the way they've taped it. So... What's it say though? Do you see a tag anywhere? Um, there's a tag down here on the floor. Whoa, what is this? Scar... Audio. Audio? Is it like oh, a Look at this, guys. Oh, my lands. <sighs> Rotate. There you go. Oh, man. Okay. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> you can only see like half of it, but there's another one of those underneath it. <laughs> can you I might be able down? to tilt it. Yeah, hold on. Look there at that. you go. Okay, that's precarious. We're, we're going to get better. We will uh, get a better clip. stand. <laughs> um, using a phone and like an art drawing stand right now, so it's not the greatest, but we'll fix it. <laughs> I think that's all there is in yeah. here, just this. Yeah. Okay. Trash. And yeah, pieces. Um, so this so, is pretty cool. I say that's probably a couple hundred dollars at least. Yeah. Um, um I don't know how you would test it. Oh, I can test that. Okay. Yeah. All I right. can test that. It should have hook it should have a hookup on the bottom somewhere. On the bottom. Um, but that is that's it's, sharp. Yeah, it's it feels really nice too. It's like um a velvety. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's that's promising. I'm gonna have to look up that brand, Scar Audio. Yeah, cause that their their logo over here looks really. Again, yeah. You can only see part of it. Um, it looks fairly fancy. It's upside down. That's fine. It looks really fancy, which is always promising. All right, how does this thing come out of here? Uh, carefully. Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy too. Yeah, it's it's a nice nice size little thing. <sighs> okay, so that's another really promising product. I was really concerned about this box. Yeah, but it the product looks fine. Yep. As long as it works fine, there's no visible damage on this product. It's definitely a return though, so we'll have to make sure. I know we're out of the video a lot. I apologize for that. We will find a better way to make this work. All right, slide, you slide it that way. Yeah, let me move the chair. Oh, just lay it, lay it down. Lay it down. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. That. Okay. That That's... was any rate. My son would want that in his truck. I guarantee it. <laughs> he can't have it. We, on our other skid, there was a few things that we kept. That's one of the things. <laughs> You can't keep everything. There's some cool stuff that comes out on this on these uh, skids, like that grill. Oh. I mean, that'd be great to keep, but we're a little crooked now. It's okay. But yeah, we're gonna. There, we there go. you go. <laughs> we'll get them uh, sold and yeah, 
What we if got? we keep everything, we're not going to make any money. What we got here? This thing looks like a basketball hoop, maybe? No, that's too big for a basketball hoop. Way too big. Could it be the back of a basketball thing? <laughs> it's got a giant hula hoop, metal hula hoop. So that is, there's more parts in here. Um, oh, is it like a, there's something in here. Well, that'd be about the size of a, and it's got little hooks. That is a backboard. That, uh, this here is. So is it like a, a whole setup, a whole thing? I don't know. Because that's a backboard, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's brand new, not been opened. I just opened it. <laughs> So I think this is like a whole basketball But I don't know what that big round thing. piece is. I'm trying to find instructions in here, but not finding any instructions. Holes. <laughs> There's stuff in that? Yeah. I'll get the poles out of the bottom. This is going to be one of those things we'll have to assemble just because there's a big hole in the bottom of the box. And yeah. Top, top of the box was not uh very well taped very good. Taped, yeah. A uh, bunch of more poles. I okay. don't see any got tons of poles. Any instructions on how they go. Are they in the box? <laughs> nope. Um, all right, so we may be flying a little blind on this one. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't see uh, any numbers or anything yeah i don't see anything that describes this to us so so i'm thinking it's a basketball something whether all the pieces are here is another question you know what it is let us know let us know but this this definitely looks like a basketball hoop it's got you got the, the board yeah it's got the, um, the net the things for the net we don't have a net so i don't know if that was supposed to come with it and we've got a backboard and a, and a big ring. I have no this, clue what this big ring's for. Whatever the is it for the floor? Because it's got these. Well, maybe it's got these like maybe it's like an indoor anti scratch thing. Yeah, maybe it's an indoor. So maybe it's for the outfit. floor and okay, possibly. Then we don't what we don't have the stand for that holds the loop. I don't know. Um, we might end up having to sell this one for parts. Possibly. Um. Which is going to be worse and take longer. But if we can sell it and move it, we can sell it and move it. We do have the benefit with our setup of having a uh, last ditch. We can't sell this and we just need to move the product option, um, which is uh, Dinkies, which is an auction around here. Um, so at the very least, we could make a dollar or two off of all the products. I think this is a chair. Which isn't as much as we would prefer, but at least we're not stuck with a whole bunch of products we can't get out of our building. Yeah. This one had been opened, um, but it's looks like they just took it out and maybe put it right back in. Alpha Camp? Alpha Camp. Looks like a big camp chair with a oh. canopy on it. Oh, it's in a bag. Yeah, it's in a bag. It's in a bag. <laughs> we'll, we'll just leave that in there, but... Yeah. Uh, you can see it's still in the bag. We'll uh, take it out later and uh, I'll make sure there's no slits in the bag. We yeah. did get a product the other day that looked perfectly fine, but there was a giant slit down the bag. Or probably somebody cut the box and cut, cut the, the yeah the package. So that one there looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it gets tore up or anything. And that might be a pretty penny. Yeah. We had one chair uh, come in. It was a big uh, anti-gravity chair, a uh, camping chair. About a hundred bucks. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you're looking up the brands right, because he did not. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she uh, trusted me to look up the brands, and I was, I was trying to give her the prices and and the brands, and then she's like, "That's not even the right brand, Dad." <laughs> so, yeah, so you gotta make sure you get the right brands and stuff. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's that important, but some brands make products a whole lot better with more quality, and so if you've got a higher quality product, you want to be getting your money out of it. All right, this one has probably been sent back, open and sent back. Uh, anybody need some house decor? What does it say? Um, indoor, outdoor decor. Oh, that's all it says. Yeah, it's a big flower. Oh, it's we got a plant. Oh, it's a tree. It's a little tree. Okay. Oh, it comes with a little pot. That's nice. That's the joke. 
Oh, is it stuck in there? Oh, yeah, it's stuck in there. Yeah, it's, it is. There. there we go. There we go. Okay. It's a little tree, fake tree. Um, Gotta fluff it's it up. It's a little squished right now. We'll have to fluff it up before we sell it, before That's we take cool, pictures though. and sell it. Um, as long as this base, because it feels like a plastic, not plastic, it feels almost like ceramic. Okay. As long as that's not cracked, Alrighty. that would be that would be fine. I have no idea what fake plants sell for. I don't. <laughs> I don't fill my house with fake plants. I don't fill them with real plants either, because I I kill every plant I touch. Hey, maybe this would be one you could uh, use <laughs> and not kill. There you are. My cats would eat it. All right. Well, this is interesting. So the last palette we got, a lot of it was brand, uh, new. brand new. Nothing. Never touched, never opened. Nothing had been opened. And this palette. Has a lot of returns. Almost everything An has. An opened return. Yeah, everything's almost been opened. This one here obviously has been opened. It's got some red tape on it. Looks like they taped it twice. <laughs> this is... Some sporting good stuff, I think. Ooh, sports stuff goes well. Oh, I can see over here. No, 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 it says a baby playpen. Playpen. Packable and portable. Oh, another baby thing. Well, let me see this one. Looks like it might have been Ooh, yeah. taken Maybe. out. Trying to not cut nothing. Watch your hand. Yep. All righty. Okay. Um, we got some various pieces down here. Um, the poles look nice. Yeah. They don't look bent. You got a book. Got a book of instructions. Oh, this is a pretty big playpen. You can put a pers uh, person, you can put an adult in it. <laughs> and it's got some balls. We don't have the balls, I don't think. I don't know if it's supposed to come with balls or if that's like an excess extra. But um, so if it was supposed to come with balls, we might see if we can pick up some really. This here is. We'll sell this for like really good money because this is an adult playpen. This is so when your kids are driving you nuts, you can get in the middle of the playpen and they can't get to you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. If it's supposed to come with balls, we might see if we can pick up some really cheap I, ones I to put see with the it. Case. Yeah, and we might see if we can. So we'll either here. sell it as a product that's incomplete, um, and so we'll be very transparent about what pieces are missing, and then we'll knock the price down because of that, or we'll see if we can cheaply replace the pieces. Yeah, sometimes we some, did that a couple with a couple of products. Yeah, sometimes uh, if uh, you're missing uh, a part, especially on like furniture or whatever, you can call the manufacturer and tell them what piece you're needing, and they'll send it to you. So a lot of people they don't want to mess with it, so they just send it back, and it doesn't take a lot of time just to no. to send in a request for the the piece you need. And on our last palette, we had something that needed two clamps, and it was like. 99 cents a clamp so that's not a whole lot of money out of our pockets to make it a complete pro product instead of right an incomplete where we'd have to deduct for missing pieces okay uh, so i can already see on this one we got it's damage boogered, yeah uh some sort of furniture desk i think maybe and so we'll either yeah. see if we can repair it or we'll just sell it as damaged. Some to some people, like if it's just this corner that's damaged. Yeah, we got both corners. Here. As long as it's a discounted price, they're not gonna care. <laughs> some people will. Yeah. So it'll just kind of depend on. So we'll build it to make sure all the pieces are there again because obviously it's open. Yeah. Um, this is how it came to us. It doesn't look like it's gonna be hard to build though. No, it's, it's just two, two legs, legs and a tabletop. And the legs are here. I can see the legs and then the tabletop. You just gotta make sure we got all the screws. Or uh, find again, screws. we can go pick up screws at the hardware store, no big deal. But uh, I probably have them, yeah, probably have them. But this one here is banged up on the corner, yeah. So we will not be selling at full price, no, or other, full price that we already discounted. <laughs> the other end is pretty beat up, too, so, so it's probably quite the same. So, again, that whole idea of if you got a couple bad items on a, on a skid that's got big pro products. You could, uh, because this is pretty tall, so it might not take any, yeah, like 
width up, but it did take quite a bit of height of the pallet up. So, yeah, so you could lose your money pretty quick. Uh, Got to be careful on what we get. Uh, but Solid door one time that was bent in half, and so then you're just, you can't do nothing with that. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, we got three big products, so I'm going to actually turn the camera because we cannot move these. They are so heavy. Um, we got them in here once. They're not moving until they're sold. <laughs> so one of them is a water softener. <laughs> um, I'm going to tip this up for you. One of them is a water softener. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to test that one. Um, so so Kristen is getting ready to get married. I'm uh, engaged. Yeah, she's engaged. She's going to get married in, in June. This so, is my father, by the way. I don't think we mentioned that. Okay, yeah. I don't, maybe we didn't mention that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is a father-daughter duel. We're going to try to do this. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, she's getting married, so this will help pay for her wedding. <laughs> and you, can, I can see the the cold air. Uh, yeah, the breath. The yeah. breath <laughs> as I'm talking into the. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a, we do have a heater in here, in it, but I just kicked it on right, right, right when we started. We, started. we, we didn't think to come. That's yeah. Cool. I, I came and set it up the other day with the background, which it looks a little cluttered, but that's kind of the whole kind of point of this is it's really cluttered until it's not. So that might be okay. We'll we'll see if people hate it. <laughs> we can change the background if people hate it, but I thought that was an easy way for us to grab products. But the uh, the work outfit actually in process maybe wasn't such a great idea. Um, so I set this up a couple of days ago, but we didn't think to turn on the on heater. Heat. Yeah. So. Yeah, this building is insulated and everything. It's a nice building, but but uh, yeah, I didn't turn on the heat for it. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to turn this. All right, you these turn products. It. Um, so the setup's not going to be as great because it's just what it is. <laughs> We've got stuff everywhere from the uh, last palette and from my wedding stuff, which is all over here. Some of it, anyway. Uh, and you've got that light right there. Um, it over a little bit. Yeah. So he's going to be in a little bit of a glare. <laughs> I'll be out of the picture. I just cut his head off. <laughs> Let me back up. I just cut his head straight off. <laughs> See what she thinks about me. <sighs> All right. So this one here, I'll have to, uh, I'll, I'll have to um, admit that I kind of peeked at it already. I couldn't get him to not do it. Well, I, I was, tried. I was trying to move it, and it is like, but it's been a week and he's been itching. <laughs> it's like insanely heavy. And at first I thought it was a washer. Oh, it's, kind of, it it's kind of got a washer drum. But then the other end I looked at and I'm like, I have no clue what this thing is. So we're going we're gonna to take this one completely out of the box. Oh, awesome. <sighs> we're going to need to bring some trash cans or something down here. Well, hopefully we'll be in the other building soon. <laughs> and... Everything will be a whole I mean, lot. It, it's not like way out of our way, but it's a little bit, you know, we're still on the same property, but like our house is up that way. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a little bit of a trek to get yeah. down here. All right. So this thing is definitely used. Oh, wait, yeah. you found a, what is it? Poultry say? plucker? A poultry plucker. A poultry plucker? <laughs> Who <laughs> needs a poultry plucker? Um, <laughs> so that's interesting because my farm is a turkey farm. We got turkeys. We we have a lot of turkeys. Um, um, so this was, uh, I don't know if you can see the instructions. They're like super beat up and torn up. Um, but the language is Chinese for the most part. And then you've got like a translation under an English. So... <laughs> This oh is, wow okay i don't know if you guys can see that looks like a nightmare can you guys see inside that wheels in here <laughs> oh looks, okay this is insane this is crazy i am gonna cut what the rest are those? okay these are like rubber yeah i'm gonna cut the rest of this box off oh this is weird i may know somebody might want this oh charlie oh <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll have to see how much this thing is worth See if it's, I don't know. Honestly, what we've discovered is once you start buying pallets, everybody in your family's like, I really want this. Do you have it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking for this. <laughs> um, and we're able to give it at a discount. Yeah. So, you know, people are interested. Okay. Well, Obviously, this is not something that I would uh, 
ship to anybody? No, this would have to be a pickup. It's super and, heavy. But it's I, a little dented. I think it's. I think it may be junk. It could be. Because it's it's beat up pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can kind of see the dent right here. Yeah. That's a pretty big dent. And there's a dent on the bottom. Yeah, and it, it definitely looks used. Like it looks kind of gross. Yeah, this thing's been beat up. So I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and try to pull it out of the box. It definitely looks like almost like a commercial <laughs> unit. Commercial unit. Like we got my mom a cotton candy maker, and it's got like the same type of bottom. There's feathers in here. Yeah. There are there are feathers. There's literally feathers. It looks like turkey feathers, even white. <laughs> Could be chicken. So but, yeah. I mean, some of that could be knocked out pretty easy. But it lets us know that it is definitely definitely used. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole layer of well, it might not be dirt. Um, <laughs> probably shouldn't have touched it. This is a this is a. It's yeah, a product. It's got a big industrial motor on it. Um, we'll see. I find find a cord. Oh, sorry. To find out what size. Oh, here's the cord. Okay, it looks, just plugs into the wall. Yeah, just a 110. So we can plug Ooh, it in. The back is rough, dented wise. Yeah, but I, that's just. It, it's it, cosmetic, mostly, yeah. it looks like. It's very cheesy metal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tons, of, tons of feathers <laughs> tons of feathers um so we probably wouldn't sell it for that much just because it's well i mean we figure it's out really banged up yeah we figure out what it costs though yeah um um do you know what a a, a poultry, poultry washer poultry plucker plucker cost i mean it's and these instructions are like when slaughtered poultry blade after death is small so yeah, well, it, it, it was not an, intended to originally be a um, a United States product, huh. but that's a that is a machine. That I'm is... gonna turn you back so you can see how big it is. Um, and I'm gonna tilt you down, tilt you down. There you go. That's how big the machine is. And again, we will work this out. So I'm not flipping you around all the time because I know that's not exactly the best the best but it's what we got and i'll try and cut some of it out transition wise to make it a little bit easier oh don't lose the wheels <laughs> put the wheels over there yeah because i don't think there's anything in this box it's trash yeah i'm not going to try to put that back in here i wouldn't bother anyway so that's one really big product <laughs> that we had on our thing that is not at all what i assumed it was going to be I didn't know they made poultry pluckers. And again, this this big box over here, you can't um, really see it. Can we tilt it a little? A little. Oh. oh, hold on. Oh, it's Whirlpool. I've heard Whirlpool. Yeah, Whirlpool. Uh, but it's it's got the housing and stuff that goes over it. The housing's kind of banged up. It's pretty big. There's the control board and everything. Um, I was going to say earlier when I, I kind of got sidetracked about her wedding, I was talking about this piece. Uh, her father-in-law to be um, works on all that kind of stuff. Uh, he works for a hospital and, and uh, maintenance maintenance type stuff. And Maybe her, he her, fiance, <laughs> her fiance was like, I think dad can hook that up and figure out whether it's good or not. So well, if it's good, then we'll sell it. As is, if not, then we might find a way to part it out, maybe, maybe, or just sell it for parts instead of as selling it as a product. Um, so everything on this skid has been a two two person lift. Yeah, team lift. Team lift or, or mechanical lift. Mechanical lift. And so here's another box. It's it's not very big. It's long. But it is super heavy. I'll see if I can tilt you down. You can look at our legs real quick. There it is. There it is. So so it's it's pretty long. It goes all the way over to here. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have seen us trying to get this in the car and then get it in here. Oh, we lost the knife. No, I got it. Okay. Um, get it in the car, get it in here, and then me setting that back drop up was, I'm sure, great 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 content that we just didn't film this is also a very big gum box 
Yeah, I was looking for something to say what it was, but well, this says over seventy pounds. Yeah, oh, it's way over seventy so. pounds. It's like cast iron or something in here. Yeah, it's a it's a heavy piece, um, and so things like this will probably have to have pick up here because like there's no way I could get this into a car and get it dropped off. So, and we're we're only doing um, local pickup. So meeting at a public local spot and then door pickup as of now. Oh, um, another very banged up set of instructions. Um, if anybody knows what that is. I know what this is. This, okay, so this is um, forks for the front of a tractor. Oh, okay, so I see if, it, yeah. If you, got a, if you got a bucket on a tractor like we do, you can slide these onto the front and use them as forks. When in use, it must be inserted into the top and then tighten the screws. Okay, so yeah, um, I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, so this would be your bucket of the tractor, and then you would attach it to the front of the back bucket. Um, so this one, this probably will sell pretty well. It's machinery. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it's farm machinery. We are farmers. <laughs> Um, they they are expensive. I'm going to take a look at it. I'll pull it out and take a look at it. Because we'll need to see if it's bent or broken. Yeah. But it, this thing And is, if it's broken, I might be able to get my fiancé to weld it up. Yeah. This thing is... We wouldn't sell it as new if my fiancé welded it. <laughs> this thing is solid, though. I mean, it is... It's heavy. It's, it, it's heavy. A, it's a heavy thing. Which, if it's a tractor piece, makes a lot more sense. I'm trying to figure out these things are supposed to work, but... Um, well, here. You... <laughs> Oh, that goes on the front. I got it. All righty. So with, with this and with the mattress, the rigid, and the um, grill, I'm going to guess if they're all working, we'll have our money made back. Yeah. So, and that's what, four products? Yeah, four products and the rest of it is profit. Yeah. So if those four products are good, if they're... Um, if they're not bent, if they're all in working condition, if all the parts are there, we should have our money made back with those four, if not over our money made back. Um, Cause it was only $500 that we got to make back. So if this is 250 and the rigid's 250, then, you know, everything else is profit. So. So yeah. Um, this might be a really profitable pallet. So if you want to do this, shop around, uh, make sure you know who you're getting your pallets from. Um, You'll see on Facebook, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of scams out there. Yeah. If you it's know, too good to be true, it's too good to be true. <laughs> yeah. If you see them listing them for a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars and they're telling you, you guys up while we talk. they're telling you that they can, uh, deliver it to you, you know, ship it to you for 150, $200 and, and, uh, you don't get to go see the product. You don't, we get to go pick out our own. Yes. Um, um we, I guess we should plug Emico liquidation pallets. That's who we get our products from right now. And they have been very, very kind and very nice. And very helpful. Very helpful. I mean they they, they are willing to give you the information that most businesses are like, mm -mm, hush right. hush, this is our how we work. <laughs> uh, and they're out of Salem, Indiana. So yes. you want to look them up if you're and they local. They do not cherry pick. They do not cherry pick. That's that's, that's a one, big one. One thing I like, they'll videotape uh them taking it off the truck. They invite us to come. Uh, they say, Anybody you know, can come and watch them unload the pallets to make sure they're not touching them. And you can pick, you, you know, as they're bringing it off, you can say, I want that pallet, that pallet, and that pallet, and it's yours. So they don't, they don't go through the product beforehand. Um, they don't know what's on it. Uh, one, one of the guys got a uh, $4,000 saxophone. saxophone on his uh, skid. So you never know. I mean, it might be nickel or dime stuff, or it might be, you know, we got a lot dollars. of furniture on our last pallet. <laughs> yeah, last pallet we had, we got a lot of furniture. Yeah. Um, but it, it was small. It was compact boxes and yeah. smaller. I uh, mean, I don't know how many boxes we had on that one. Like uh, forty-four. Forty-four, uh, 44 boxes. boxes. So, so yeah. Um, that's all I can think of. Yep. You got anything else? I'll go through and do some editing. And so if we've got like actual product prices, we'll, I'll pop them up on screen. Um, 
if you have any suggestions for editing, because I've never done this before, so it's all a learning curve. I, I, everything I've listened to says you're going to hate your first YouTube video, so I'm kind of not expecting, you know, master class level, but um, we're going to do our best. Uh, we are farmers, and so technology is not always our um, Strong suit. strongest suit. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> but, we're, but we'll do our best. I'm doing the editing. <laughs> She's doing technical side of stuff. Yeah. Um, um, we've got some forms that I've made up for like keeping track of the products and where they sell and how they sell, and um, eventually we'll we'll film a video going through that and how they created. They're really simple, so we'll we'll get that stuff to you. Um, we're trying to be as organized as possible from the beginning so that we don't get overwhelmed after we get bigger. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be nice once we get moved into, like I said, to the other building. I've got a few things to work out with uh, the people I grow for. Um, once I get all that figured out, I should have two buildings that I'll be able to work out of. And uh, big buildings. Big buildings, 500 foot uh, long. So, uh, That'll give us room to be able to maneuver around, set things up, uh, have a stand, have a <laughs> stand have for the to camera. Not rotate. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a stand for the camera and everything. But, we'll and, have a camera. <laughs> yeah. So. But this is, this is where we start. I mean, if this is how anybody would have to start, you've got to start small. So if yeah. you're wanting to watch someone go from the beginning and turn it into something great, that's what we're hopefully going to be doing here. Yeah. And we want to do it smart you know you can you can go buy fancy cameras and and backdrops and all that kind of stuff and uh be out of pocket a lot of money in the beginning really hard to recoup if you're already in the debt yeah. when you start so, so we want to do it as we'll get the stuff as we go as we got the money and uh hopefully you guys will grow with us uh you'll come along this journey and Maybe along this journey, you see, hey, you know what? That's a side income or a side hustle, a lot of people call it, mm -hmm. that uh, I can do. And I can uh, pay off some debts. The cool thing is, so like we have our farm, right? So we're, we're making money on our farm. We're paying our bills with it. This is a side income. So this is money that we can put uh, extra on our farm to, to pay, pay it off. And we're close to having it paid off. So... Like I said, don't know if we'll get it done this year, but <laughs> crossing our fingers, we're hoping to do that this year. And uh, that'll take a lot of pressure off of us. Uh, I know Kristen's going to be wearing a lot of hats this this year. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got a lot of new roles to fill. <laughs> yeah, she's not got the farm. She's going to be doing a lot on the farm because With his surgeries. He's down for the count, so it's all on me. <laughs> yeah, it's going so. That's another reason we're doing this is uh, I'm not going to be on be able to be on my feet. Um, so he can do the editing while I'm in the barn. Yeah, I'll be able to price stuff and look things up and make sure it's the right product. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, she, she'll have this. She's going to be working this. She's going to be working the farm. And she's going to be married. So uh, a lot of new things in her life. Oh, this and year. I do horse riding lessons. Yeah, and she does ride. She works with special needs kids, and uh, I, with, I got a lot of hats <laughs> with horse riding. So yes, she's got a lot of hats. And but uh, if you're not if you're not lazy, you can make it. You can, yeah, you can do this. All you need is some space and computer access yep. which internet access is hit and miss for us so i mean you don't need to like a really steady one either <laughs> right um but we've got what what's this room uh this is probably uh 14 it's a 14 wide probably by 20 foot room so like a garage, garage a decent yeah. size garage if you don't mind not putting your car in it yep yep it's all you need for products. Um, we still got space to move around in here. And I got another office. My office. We got a smaller room over there. But yeah. That's all you, all you need to actually get started. I mean, we can fit two pallets in here. We can Easy. move around. Yeah. We can build the materials. Um, it'll be a little harder going through and trying to find which one we've sold and picking out that box. But um, which we'll it's get doable. that. <laughs> we're gonna get that organized because, like I said, I got this room over here uh, on the other side of the wall here. We can, uh, the stuff that we've already posted, uh, 
we're going to get it laid out um, so we can find <laughs> we can <laughs> when, when somebody wants it we can grab it and Just grab and go yeah um but yeah so anything else hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys grow with us yes let's have fun let's try it <laughs> thank you Thank <music> you.